Our guest with us today is Father Joseph Johnson. He is the rector at the Cathedral of St. Paul, and um, we'd like to welcome him today. He's here to tell us a little bit about the cathedral itself and to talk about the centennial celebration that's coming up at the beginning of June, correct? Correct, June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Great. Well, um, you were telling me a little bit earlier about uh, the first cathedral of St. Paul, how it looks a lot different from the current one. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? That's right. The first cathedral was built by Father Lucien Gaultier in 1841, and it really was just a little log cabin chapel. Okay. And it was here on the bluff, uh, right off of Kellogg, and there's a little monument there to it, because actually at that time, St. Paul didn't exist. It was pig's eye. <laughs> And this uh, educated French priest didn't want to live in pig's eye. That makes sense. So he suggested, why not call the settlement after this little chapel that I've built, St. Paul? Saint Paul. And that's how the city got its name. The current cathedral is actually the fourth cathedral because as the little settlement grew, so did the Catholic population. So mm -hmm. they kept building a larger space to fit the inhabitants. But for the fourth cathedral, they finally decided it wasn't just space for the people. They wanted to make a statement. Uh, it was really sort of... St. Paul coming of age, uh, okay. not just the Catholic community, but the whole community. And uh, the building of, of the current cathedral with its massive dome sitting on the hill above downtown uh, was really a moment of great civic pride mm -hmm. and celebrated with everything from a telegram from President Teddy Roosevelt to a parade with 60, 70,000 people. Wow. Yes. That's pretty incredible. Um, you're also telling me about the centennial celebration. What, what exactly is it? Well, we thought if 100 years ago they were that enthusiastic about starting the project, we should be able to celebrate it with at least the same amount of enthusiasm. Sure. So we're having uh, all sorts of activities leading up to it, such as the Cathedral History Hunt, okay. which people can go on our website, www.cathedralstpaul.org, okay. find the clues and things like that. And sort of like the medallion hunt, uh, be able to participate in, in finding out this rich history of the cathedral and its artwork. And then the winner gets to join me in starting the ringing of the bells of the cathedral uh, for peace in our world. We've got cathedrals all over the country, local churches here, cathedrals in Europe and other parts of the world that will all be ringing their bells at exactly the same moment as our prayer rising up for peace. Wow. How, how does one ring the bells at the cathedral? Well, it's actually not quite as uh, romantic as you might think. <laughs> there's no Quasimodo up there with the rope. Uh, bells are pretty much automated these days, and there's a button to push. Okay. But for this particular thing, we're bringing out uh, the old cathedral bell, which is in our museum, actually, and putting mm -hmm. it on the steps of the cathedral. And the winner of the history hunt and I will start with uh, ringing that bell. Oh, cool. And then the cathedral bells will join in and the rest of the bells. Great. Um, getting back to a little bit about the, the history of the cathedral, mm -hmm. um, I believe you told me that Archbishop John Ireland, he was credited for uh, getting the new cathedral built. Can you tell us a little bit more about him? Archbishop Ireland was quite a character. <laughs> he uh, actually had done all of his seminary studies in France, mm -hmm. and so he'd seen the great cathedrals of Europe going up, and he also developed a little bit of a taste for the French. So the architect he chose was Archbishop, uh, was uh, Emmanuel Masqueret, okay. who uh, had done the world uh, exposition for the Louisiana Purchase Centennial down in St. Louis. And Archbishop Ireland had gone down there, visited it, was impressed, and so he brought Masquerade to St. Paul to start this project. Okay. And he liked how in Europe the cathedral was part of the fabric of the city, not just a place of worship. It right. said something about the character of the city itself, and it was related to everything around it. Mm -hmm. Cass Gilbert was busy building the state capitol at the same time, and actually they finished just before the cathedral, so some of those workmen just walked up the street that we now know as John <laughs> Ireland Boulevard, uh -huh. To work on the cathedral. Okay. What is your favorite part of the cathedral? You spend a lot of time there. You give yes. tours and the like. What, what, what do you like about it? You know, it'd be hard to isolate just one thing. The overall impression of the cathedral as a whole mm -hmm. uh, is magnificent. Being set there on the hill and you walk in and you've got this vast open space. It really, people, uh, we get over 200,000 tourists a year, so many non-Catholics that come and they just experience it as an awesome place that just kind of brings out all that is most noble in the human person. It, it inspires us to be better, that, that we have creative gifts that we can use to make the world a beautiful place. Right. There are plenty of people that use their energies to make the world an uglier, violent place. Sure. We thought this is a great inspiration to people of goodwill everywhere of what can be achieved when we actually 
uh, engage in using our skills for the positive. That's, uh, that makes me really want to go there. <laughs> yes, you've got to come. Um, you've had some notable visitors to the cathedral in the past. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about there, that? There have been uh, recent ones, like Mother Teresa of Calcutta would come and pray there. Really? Uh, the one that most uh, people want to see is, is the pew that marks the spot where President John Fitzgerald Kennedy uh, came wow. back in the 60s. Actually, right before the Cuban Missile Crisis, he was here. Oh, my God. My, my mother, we actually, I was telling you earlier that uh, I used to live overseas and India was one of the countries we lived in. Huh. My mother uh, worked with Mother Teresa. Oh, she volunteered, um, so she met her before she passed away. Okay. And we've got a couple of popes that have visited uh, the cathedral before they were popes. Uh, pope Pius XII, who was pope uh, during the time of World War II, had visited right before the war. And then actually the current pope, Pope Benedict XVI, uh, wow. received an honorary doctorate and from the University of St. Thomas in 1984 and visited the cathedral. He's a big fan. He likes <laughs> it. Um, we have to wrap up, but before we do, um, you're going to be having some special tours for the centennial celebration. Is That's that right. Starting June 1st, Friday, we're going to have tours. We're also going to have that night a concert of sacred music. The great composers of the world have done music based on the scriptural texts that are inscribed in the stone of the cathedral. So we thought, let's sing those. That'll be followed by fireworks above the cathedral oh, and wow. an ice cream social. So something for everybody. <laughs> and then all day Saturday, June 2nd, there will be uh, a festival around the cathedral, tours inside, mm -hmm. this parade from the capital to the cathedral starting at 11. Uh, then there'll be a solemn mass that evening with Archbishop Flynn at 7. And then on the 3rd, on Sunday in the afternoon at 2, we have an interfaith prayer service for peace. So we hope the whole community will come realize that this is a treasure that uh, generations before us have lovingly built and we right. need to care for it and celebrate it. And and we you'd can have all to, share that. Absolutely. And you'd have to go a long way to find another building of this stature, uh, not just size-wise, but of the quality of the skilled artisanry that's, that's contained therein. Sure. Um, and if people want more information, where's the best place to go? Go to our website, www.cathedralstpaul.org. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you.